In this lesson, we are going to look at how to prove that something is a parallelogram. Now, in grade 9 and grade 10, you would have been introduced to this. There are five ways that you can prove that something is a parallelogram. There we can see the five different ways. Now, some of the methods are easier than others. The methods that I would suggest would be number one, number three, and actually only those two. The reason is, is that for number one, you have to prove that both pair of opposite sides are parallel. What that means is that you would have to prove that this gradient is the same as this gradient, and this gradient is the same as this gradient. That won't take that long. The easiest method, though, is number three. The diagonals must bisect. What that means is if you have a diagonal going from A to C, and a diagonal going from B to D, what you do is you work out the midpoint of AC and you work out the midpoint of BD. If it's the same point, then we can say the diagonals bisect. You do not have to work out all of these to say that it's a parallelogram. You only have to choose one of them. Why would I not choose the other options? Well, they're just going to take a lot longer. For example, proving that the opposite sides are equal means you're going to have to use the distance formula four times. Angles are not even going to, it's not even a question of how that's going to work because we would have to use trigonometry to work out angles. It's just going to be a nightmare. Number five isn't bad, but you would have to use distance formula again, which is usually quite long. But if you want to, you absolutely can. So for this example, I'm going to choose option number three, my favorite. So what we do is we use the midpoint formula and we use it on the two diagonals. So I'm going to do the first diagonal, which could be AC. So I'm going to say capital M AC. And I'm just going to work out the midpoint. So it's going to be one plus minus one over two. And then minus four, sorry, three must come first. So it'll be three plus minus four over two. And this is actually gonna give us zero and negative a half. So that's the midpoint of AC. What I then do is I work out the midpoint of the other diagonal, which is the line BD, which is over there. And using the same formula, it's gonna be minus three plus three over two and zero minus one over two. And that's gonna give us zero and negative a half. So what we can see is that the midpoint of both diagonals is the same. This means that the diagonals bisect each other. So then we could say, therefore, ABCD equals a parallelogram. Now, there's different ways to write parallelogram. You must just see what your teacher says. And the reason is, is that the diagonals, whoops, you just say diags bisect.